Alright guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So you're probably like, alright, well this is Vitamin Y, then how come you're on Dev Pro with daily duels and stuff, huh? What, what's up with that, Daniel? Uh, today we are going to be testing out um, uh, Unizombie. And Unizombie is not on um, on DN yet. So, yep, that's the reason why we're here. So we opened up pretty bad. <laughs> uh... I guess I'll go ahead and take the duel slow, but not the best of hands. Not the best of hands. You know, Unizombie would totally help this hand out. You know, if we had Unizombie, hell yeah. We go summon Unizombie, drop Mizuki. Oh. <coughs> Hermit Yokai, alright. So he puts the Hermit Yokai in the Pentrum Zone, therefore he can uh, play his uh, trap card. And lots of background. All the background. Alright, this will be fun. I mean, I can go summon Mizuki, but why? You know? I'm just coming to poke him. So, with uh, Unizombie, we have the inclusion of Mizuki, another revival card, but he's also a nice 17 beater, so. You know, the only problem is that he's not dark, so I can't send him to the graveyard with Dark Rift Arm again tonight, but. You know. Oh, uh, terrible. I wonder how many of these he runs. Sometimes I only see people run one just to have the trap card set up. I don't know. I could always save the replay and duel and check his deck, but eh. So all the back row. You know? So he went down the, the back row out. You know. The deck has consistency issues. Definitely. Even with the Ted Geese still. Does it doesn't have enough monsters right now, you know. Even when I played on daily duels and I run all of the Hermit Yokai monsters, three of each, it's still like I'm like not getting any monsters. <laughs> So, yeah, either he's just totally good with all his back row, or, you know, setup is real. So, I'm hoping that maybe he top decks into something. The problem is, if he draws into a tanky, you can't play it, because he just set all of his back row. So, it may not be the best of plays. I think there's only one Hermit Yokai monster that can beat, run me over. Oh, he's there. John Terror, alright. Terror and Ultimate. You know what? I'm planning on taking this duel slow anyway. I'm not planning on extending, overextending, playing anything. I'm just gonna keep on poking you with a 17 bazooki until you either A do something or B lose the duel. Yeah. Um, especially since if I activate anything, you might just go ahead and play your counter trap and free up a back row. So it's much easier just to simply win this duel by poking you and seeing my draw. So clearly, I might have still some kids. The, the, the revival is awesome. I got one, two, three, four, five revivals. I can summon so many BLCs and so many eights. So many. The only problem right now is that I don't have any senders. You know, right now the deck is running two Armageddon Knights, two Dark Reffers, and three Unizombies, Zombies, no Rettos. So that might be something that needs to be fixed. Taken in consideration. Oh shit, he's got his other is that the other No, it isn't the same one. Alright. Well that was an anti-climactic duel, so I guess we'll go ahead and get another one. Be right back. Alright, we're back. So, you guys might have noticed that this is actually Vitamin Y Forever episode 400. Yay, 400! And to celebrate, I am doing absolutely nothing. Alright. So, the idea with Instafusion is to actually have a play to go off with Unizombie, in which I summon Unizombie, Unizombie, send his army, increase its level up to 4, activate Instafusion, summon the Dark Flare Dragon, and then I can go ahead and see or sink. So, that's, uh, that's the gist of it, but right now, not the best of hands. Also, we're in 3 Zombie Rolls, so maybe you want to fix that as well. So, I thought that instead of, instead, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, since Unizombie can send from the hand, I was thinking that, you know, we don't need as many Dark Greffers. Since Unizombie is there, we don't need as many Rotas. But it's pretty clear that we kind of still need a Rota. So we're going against uh, Gadgets, and this should be fun. My hand is nothing, and he's probably going to out-resource me, so. Alright. Yep. He's going to out-resource me. He's going to have seven resources. So... Summoner Monk is still in here, so if I get Summoner Monk, I would be happy about that. If I get Unizombie, I would be happy about that, you know? How far I'm saying we're using Unizombie, I haven't even drew him yet, so. 
set some background just to assure me that most of that's just not what I hope it is. Oh, yes, Yuna, Yuna Zombie, thank you. All right, so if you're wondering what Yuna Zombie does, uh, you can target one monster on the field. Just card one card if you do, increase its level by one. You could target one monster on the field, send one zombie type monster from your deck to a graveyard if you do, increase this monster level by one. And uh, you cannot attack for this turn, except for uh, zombie monsters, but of course, I have Zombie World. So, by Zombie World, I'm turning all of my monsters into zombies, so that builds that I can make right now, I can turn it into a zombie. So, I'm going to activate your effect, uh, no. So, I'm going to target yourself, you up to four, and I'll drop your blood. I'm going to activate Insta Fusion, pay my thousand, go ahead and summon Dark Flare. What do I go into? The problem with going into anything is that he has a he's a rank four deck, so he can simply just make a freaking uh, a freaking one one and take my ass. So that's my problem here. It's definitely my problem here. What level is Leo Blood? Six. What level are you using, zombie? You're four, but then you can increase your stuff to five, ten. Oh, you, I can do a ten. I can go Swing of Memories, Summon Doom Shaman, I mean, Doom Shaman, Ill Blood, Ill Blood, Summon Unizombie, Unizombie, use your effect, increase your own level up to four by dropping a zombie and then going to a Leo. Oh, that'd be great right now, but I didn't put Leo in here, so memo to myself. If we're going with this route, we need to put Leo in here, because this deck can do Leo. There's really not much I can go into, you know, without getting fucking snatched up. I'm gonna get snatched up by a 101, so fuck it, I guess I'll just go ahead and go into a Beals. Now next turn I can go Book of Life, banish one of his monsters, summon ill blood, ill blood, summon back my my beals because he will be a zombie in the graveyard. So go ahead and write that down in my memo book. Just a lot of research. So yeah, four hundred, episode four hundred. I am not planning on doing anything to celebrate at all. At fucking all. Thanks for the light points. Wow, oh, he's just gonna summon a gadget. Oh, he has Kage. Alright. I thought he had a goldfish, but you know, he's just gonna summon Kage. Oh no, he searched for Kage with uh, King of Crown Up. Alright, go until 101 and take me. It's pretty clear that's what your plan is, so go ahead and do it. I said. I knew that's just how this duel was gonna go down. Another King of Feral M. Hello? I have a fucking Beals on the field. You're staring down a fucking Beals and you're gonna go for fucking more pluses. Like, this isn't the time to be trying to plus. This is the time to be handling this Beals with a 101. Whatever. Alright, so, yep, I'm mad at myself. I wish I had a fucking, uh, Leo in here. Memo to myself, Leo. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and use this just to fucking thin. So normal summon for my effect. Activate my effect. Ah, see? See? I should have brought fucking. So I totally, totally put in the Leo. Leo would be so fucking great right now. Got Plague. So we can go into Leo's with this deck. We can go into Beals's. We could just do amazing shit. This deck is might be the most powerful version of the deck. Alright, you're gonna quit. Alright, well, now since you quit, this gives me a chance to go ahead and fix the deck. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and get another duel in. Alright, be right back. Alright, let's try this again. So, I did put a, a Leo in there. Alright, this ends, once again, seems like now I'm getting a lot of the revival and less of the consistency of the sending, so. Surprisingly, I never thought that we'd be having this problem right now, but it seems like this is where we're having a problem. We're getting an ass ton of, you know, of revival. You know, revival is hella nice, but everything else is just kind of poopy. 
Uh, I'll take the damage on the chin. You're only a 60 card deck, so hopefully you won't go too hard on me. <laughs> so, oh, we both got foolish. That's that number generator for you. <laughs> so, and went to myself. We got we got what? Swing, silent doom. So you foolish Lumina to summon Lumina. I guess. Okay, well, you're not getting that back, because that's a cost. What the fuck are you doing? And now you don't have any light sworn targets in your graveyard, so you can't... That was dumb. That was dumb, you're dumb. So it's light sworn dark worlds? Hello? Disgusting. Man, yeah, light sworn dark worlds. Two of the like one of the most sackiest decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Going head to head right now. Yep. So Mizuki. Activate Insta Fusion. And we're pretty much set up now. Just gonna make that little bubble train to drop the plague spreader. I decided to take out um uh Emerald as a deck for Leo because with all this fucking revival, it's not as good, so You know what card I haven't been getting? Silent Doom. Silent Doom would be so great. Not Silent Doom. Super Vice. Super Vice. I would love Super Vice right now. Ugh. I think I want to banish. I want to banish that Graffa. I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to take out both the Luminas, and I want to get that Graffa. So, I'm going to target Illblood, and I'm going to banish the Graffa. Can't summon plague spreader and synchro. Well, I could, but it would wait, be a waste of a plague spreader. Unless I decide to put two plague spreaders in, just, I draw, I changed it, so I put two Armageddon Knights, one Dark Graffer. But you know, we might just change that and just up them, just to have the sending consistency. That might be the most important thing in this deck right now. Garoth, sure. So you're just gonna kill my level level chain. Cool, cool story, bro. He served its purpose. Do you want to set some back row or something, or are you just going to your turn? No, you're going to... Why? That was... whatever. Ooh, another insta fusion. Alright. So... Almost summon. Activate my effect. Bring back Plague. Go ahead. I'm gonna actually make a Crimson Blader. Just so I can lock down the Grapha and the JD. And his Luminas and his Michael. Just lock it all down. Just lock it down. So you can always just not play Monster. Alright. Oh my god, Super Vice. Alright. Silent Doom. Double Blood. Super Vice. Some in Plague. Seeing Grow Summon into Beetles. Fails. Super Vice. Back out blood. Uh, I think this might be game. Maybe. Bring you back. I'm gonna go for Scrap Dragon. Yep, I think this might be game. Go ahead and blow up that Raikou. Spirit Reaper, oh, you're cute. That's even cuter. Back. 
Uh, yep. Ah, uh, you know what? We're gonna get one more duel, and I'm feeling like this deck is doing pretty well. So one more duel. Bear right back. All right, last duel. So I did change the deck around a little bit more. So I did put some rotas in because this it seems like the consistency drop. All right, so with this rota and this Armageddon Knight, we should be totally set up. It may take a little while. Oh, machinist. All right. And I took out Dark Raffer. Fuck. Uh, memo to myself, just run the one Dark Raffer. I was thinking, it's like, ah, I don't need Dark Raffer. Like, yeah, you do. Alright. Try and drop Ill Blood. So let's see if I can survive long enough. I'm a couple, couple machinists to the face, and I'm not living that long, so. Yep. Oh, there's a real decree. Alright, so. I'm gonna be okay. As long as this Armageddon Knight goes through, I'm gonna be okay. Alright, he's clearly got something. Alright. As long as this Royal Decree is okay, I'll be okay. You say destroy a monster, right? No, it's target one card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Damn it! So he's gonna destroy my world decree. Oh, that's good. Is that only when it's destroyed the battle? Yeah, it's only when it's destroyed the battle. You know what? I might go for hot. You can always summon it back again by pitching that cannon, though, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, he's not even going to equip? You got the MST? Trap stun. Okay. <laughs> like, hello? You can have that. Don't even know what I'm mad at. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an awesome idea. <laughs> That's my jam, if you're wondering. I mean, sweet. I mean, you. You. Some of my nigga plague. Got an awesome idea. It's getting hot in here. Book of Life. Give me Elblood. You don't need Fortress. Alright, alright. He can he's the only one that can attack this turn. That's right. Tragodia? Oh right, this thing. He could summon it back, that's right. Alright, cool start, bro. Alright, go ahead. So he can Pitch for a cannon. Cannon's all late, isn't he? No, he's just gonna send his other guy. Go, give him a puff guy. And go for your give me puff strings. Yep. Now, if you rank up, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm totally dead if you rank up. You got the rank up? Yep, you do. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> it always has the fucking rank up. Oh, wait, whenever they go into fucking him, they always have the rank up to go into him. That's game. I take the damage. Yep, just hit me directly. That's game. They always have it. Always. Ah, <coughs> uh, duel wasn't terrible. He just had the answers. Like, damn, I, I thought I did a pretty good play there. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, I don't know, maybe the deck needs a little bit more tinkering. I would that Dark Greffer, I could have sped out the process a lot, but I was like thinking, like, what do I need Dark Greffer for? But, hey, the one Dark Greffer for them triple rotas, I mean, come on. Come on, Daniel, we can get that. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and fix the deck again. So, uh, so far, tell me what you guys think, you know? 
Are, are you interested? Is this okay? Or do you think that we should just go ahead and change it back? You know? Now, Unit Zombie worked. We got a ton of revival. You know, and the revival is out the roof. It's like what? Triple Silent Doom. Triple Swing. Triple... Zombie World. Triple Mizuki. I think I took out Soul Charge. Yeah, I did. I took out Soul Charge. So I don't need it. Triple Supervise and a ton of revival. So that's not a problem. My problem is getting the consistent send. Once we get send and set up, we can just go ahead and go to town. So, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call up. So, so uh, if we try this deck again, of course, you'll be on here until they put Unis on B on uh, DN. But, uh, yeah. So, episode 400. You guys get nothing. I I, I had nothing planned. 400 came so fast. I don't know. We'll do something for 500. I know that for sure. But 400, I don't know. <laughs> We're almost at 500 on daily duels. Yeah. So maybe we'll do something for that. Doubt it though. Uh. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode though. So um. Yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later. I'm putting up a video talking about. Uh. Well, I'll see you guys later. But yeah. All right. So thanks for watching. And uh. Yeah. See you next time.